Welcome to using cloud native tools to strengthen your platform security posture and manage risk. I'm Tim Wingerder, a product manager on Google Cloud Security Command Center. Later, I'll be joined by Maciek Zatorski, an engineering manager at Akato. For those joining for the first time, I'll do a quick recap of what Security Command Center, or SEC, is. Then I'll jump into what's new across the product. And finally, I'll spend time chatting with Maciek from Akato about how he and his organization are using Security Command Center. Let's dive right in. Security Command Center is Google Cloud's native security solution that federates security insights across your organization. You can think about it in four areas of value. First, asset and resource tracking. You might have asked yourself, if I don't know what I have deployed, how can I secure it? Cloud Asset Inventory helps customers gain visibility into their ever-expanding set of assets and resources to understand how much and of what they've got deployed, helping eliminate any security blind spots. Second, it helps discover vulnerabilities and detect potential misconfigurations of those cloud assets that might be putting your organization at risk. Users receive notifications about new or updated findings in near real time to drive action and reduce that risk. Third is threat detection. Spotting malicious activity and unauthorized behavior, Security Command Center can detect threats such as malware, crypto mining, brute force SSH, outgoing of denial of service attacks, anomalous IAM grants, and potential data exfiltration. It also can detect multiple types of container runtime attacks. Fourth, compliance standard mapping. Simply, Security Command Center helps customers maintain compliance. They can review reports to ensure resources meet requirements set forth by a variety of regulations and industry best practices, like the CIS benchmarks. It brings all of this together in one central tool across the customer's entire GCP environment throughout the security lifecycle. Now, let's talk about what's new across this functionality. First up, we've released several platform-wide updates that improve the experience across the entirety of Security Command Center. I'll quickly cover three here. First, since you rely on Security Command Center for critical security operations, we've made it easier to understand whether its ability to protect your estate is impaired. If Security Command Center detects that a finding publisher, like Security Health Analytics or Container Threat Detection, cannot produce findings or operate as expected, it will surface a special type of finding along with instructions for how to remediate so that you can benefit from all of its capabilities. Next, we've significantly improved the experience around consuming findings. We've standardized the information across the different finding types and reorganized the content so that they are easier to understand than ever. We've added a query builder that works together with those standardized attributes, allowing you to quickly scope your views to view just what you're interested in. And lastly, we've rolled out muting. This allows you to express simple or complex rules across your organization to suppress findings that fit a certain criteria, keeping you focused on the insights that are most directly relevant to your business. Next, we're making the findings that SEC already provides around your estate's assets, misconfigurations, vulnerabilities, and threats even more actionable with a contextualized, risk-oriented view. Without impacting your environment, Security Command Center will simulate attacks to try and reach your estate's high-value targets. The output of those simulations informs a value that is assigned to findings based on how they contribute to the overall exposure of your valuable assets. This information will help your team reason about the findings in Security Command Center and take action on the most impactful drivers of your organization's risk. This is coming to early access soon. Complementing everything I've mentioned so far are improvements in Cloud Asset Inventory and Security Command Center's posture management. First, Cloud Asset Inventory allows you to understand deeper details about your resources through asset relationships. For example, representing information about the App Engine application that a particular App Engine service is in. Analytical querying is also available in early access. This capability allows you to interrogate your cloud estate directly without having to export it to BigQuery first, helping you understand details about your current or past state easier than ever before. Assets in Cloud Asset Inventory are the foundation upon which SEC's early access custom posture detection are built. You can express your own detective controls and SEC takes care of the rest, producing findings in real time and helping you monitor your posture. And finally, we've launched rapid vulnerability detection in public preview. This zero configuration service automatically discovers network endpoints, open ports, and installed software packages and alerts you of vulnerabilities like weak credentials, incomplete software installation, and exposed admin interfaces. Security Command Center continues its innovation in the threat detection space and recently made virtual machine threat detection generally available. 
this unique agentless approach instruments the hypervisor to offer nearly universal and hard to tamper with threat detection. Additionally, SEC and Chronicle have a tight integration that lets customers seamlessly pivot from a finding detail in Security Command Center's console into a curated alert view within Chronicle. From there, users can investigate the threat and quickly pivot to associated actions and events related to the finding. For a special deeper dive on each of these, check out my colleague Tim Peacock's Cloud Threat Detection Security Talk from early this summer. We've worked hard on these updates and are excited for you to check them out. Next, we're going to check in with Machek from Okado to hear about Okado's experience with SCC. Welcome, Machek. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, Tim. <clears throat> I'm Machek Zatorski, uh, Engineering Manager at Okado Technology. So at Okado, we leverage cutting-edge technology and automation to transform online glossive retail. Our team of more than 2,500 technologists collaborate across 12 development centers globally to innovate and build our world-leading e-commerce fulfillment and logistics solution, which is called Okado Smart Platform. OSP enables our global retail partners to offer millions of customer unparalleled shopping experience. And after two decades of innovation, we are now a global technology company, providing software, robotics, and AI solutions for online grocery. Google Cloud Platform has been with us on that journey and played a significant role. And as we grow as an organization, our presence on GCP has also increased. So today, we are managing more than 3,000 GCP projects across various business streams, and we processing petabytes of data. On a daily basis, we have to deal with different types of users, each with a variety of needs, including data scientists, ML engineers, data analytics, product managers, as well as some, some external users. So as you can imagine, the scale and complexity comes with a number of challenges. And security is definitely one of them. And this is where my role and my team is to tackle these challenges. Amazing. Thank you for being here today. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how getting started with Security Command Center was at Okado? Uh, maybe how long it took or how rolling it out went? Sure, I, I have to dive into a bit into history. And a few years back, we started with uh, self-hosted security scanners. Um, they've provided us with uh, really meaningful info, but we quickly discovered that they just wouldn't cope with the amount of assets we had. Scanning of those assets was taking longer and longer and would eventually lead to inertia in our security response, which just wasn't acceptable for us. Also, we had to manage these tools ourselves. Uh, that included some maintenance like uh, upgrading, patching, reconfiguring integrations. And that's an extra effort we had to take, which we obviously don't want to. We wanted to focus on resolving security problems. The tool was managed by us centrally, and it didn't allow for any work delegation. And we realized it is a problem because it creates bottlenecks in our security process. So this is where we started to evaluate alternatives and Security Command Center was one of them. First impressions, extremely positive. It served really well as a single pane of glass for our spectrum of security challenges. For example, we used uh, security health analytics for our config validation in BigQuery, GCS, and Cloud SQL resources. We had now reliable scans every 12 hours, which gave us much more confidence comparing to our previous solution. I have to say the whole setup and adoption was really, really smooth. Um, thanks to the GCP being a native GCP service. So for us, this is, there was something we knew. This is, uh, was just a matter of setting up the right permission, catching up with documents, and that's it. We, after a few days, were able to see our first insight into our security landscape. As you know, sometimes appetite comes with eating, and we were very eager to try on new few interesting thing, features we heard about. And that would include um, things like instant scanning, um, scanning with more comprehensive security control list, uh, permission delegation, which would solve our problem I've mentioned earlier, or even threat detection. We decided to upgrade to SCC Premium. That's great to hear. It, it sounds like you really benefited from a uh, cloud-native solution there. 
you also mentioned a shift from centralized management to uh, delegation. Uh, could you tell us about that shift and how you manage the delegation of posture issues out to those business units? Sure. At Acado, we truly believe that autonomy drives innovation. And we always want our teams to be self-sufficient as much as possible. And we aim to empower them so that they can move at the right pace. And as with everything else, we just apply this principle to security. And using access control at the folder level, we are able to delegate SCC findings directly to relevant business units. This is how it works. If I grant SCC permission on a folder owned by a specific business unit, that unit will receive only findings for assets from that folder. They will not be able to see anything else, including notifications from other units. And this is not only great separation of duties, but also it allows owners to focus on issues related strictly to resources they know most about. We're really proud of our delegated views feature as well. Uh, did you use that at all to help uh, move some of your security operation tasks to developers? Yes, indeed. We actually built a whole pipeline of, of security findings. We've used continuous exports feature. We built on top of uh, PopSop and, uh, and Cloud Function. And that pipeline would automatically generate a Jira ticket, which is then assigned to developers. They are usually owners of, of a resource. So from now on, they are in charge. They can prioritize and resolve the problems at their own pace. And this is this is how we surface the autonomy of, of, of the teams. Awesome. Can, can you share a little bit about that process that they follow, how they're addressing vulnerabilities or threats uh, and remediate them in your environment? Yeah, so going back to my to, to the team, uh, once they in control of a misconfiguration, um, in many, many cases, they, they can remediate the problem on their own. Uh, but of course, we don't leave them alone in this. First, the findings from SCC are quite rich. They, they really give um, enough context to, to be able to act. And the, um, the findings would also include very comprehensive recommendation uh, on, on the solution. Um, we also have security, central security teams, which they can always consult if the issue is more tricky. But in case of live security threats, we need to act slightly differently. And we need someone who will more proactively monitor our state. And here we have another integration, uh, this time with Splunk, which is our central CM system, where our security operations team oversees the whole organization. I actually have one recent example, um, famous log4j vulnerability, where our operations team was able to respond pretty much instantly to, to the live attacks they've seen. And I have to say, we were really impressed how quickly this new control for a completely new type of attack was added to SCC. That really gave us that confidence we, we were looking for, the confidence that we can not only leverage the tool, but also the security expertise from Google Cloud. I think we all remember Log4j. Uh, that's great to hear. Uh, could you share a little bit about how Security Command Center helps uh, demonstrate compliance standards within or to, to your stakeholders? Yeah, audit is always a big thing. And we, we recently ran an internal audit across the Okada technology. Again, SCC has been extremely helpful here. Uh, specifically in identifying projects with the most severe issues. We were able to correlate projects with business owners and generated a very useful report for our audit team. They were really grateful because it, it worked for them as, a, as an action list. Um, another example is our initiative to visualize our security estate. We created a security kit map which aggregates findings at the folder level which usually corresponds to a department or some kind of organization uh, division. And this visualization helps us to make data-driven decisions, prioritize things, or assign resources where they are needed. Great. Thanks again for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any closing thoughts for other folks who might be considering Security Command Center for their needs? Yeah, uh, Security Command Center has proven itself for us, and uh, we are now very, very confident that going forward it can serve as our central security monitoring tool, so highly recommend. Great.
Thanks again for joining me today, Machek. Thanks, Tim. To hear more about the topics I covered today, check out the videos from my colleagues in the Getting Started with Security Command Center playlist on YouTube, or head over to our product documentation links to hear more about how Security Command Center can help with your security needs. Thanks for tuning in.